to experience weightlessness and see the earth far below. To be closer to the stars. Marcel Echossier is one of the first customers of a company that will soon be sending private individuals like himself on brief trips into space. It takes some training to fly in space. He's booked a preparation course with astrophysicist and pilot Nancy Femmorlin in Antwerp. She explains some of the physical laws of outer space and tops off the lesson with a look at the sun through a reflecting telescope. It's a dream of mine to one day go into space. And nowadays this dream starts to become a reality, I think, for many more people. And uh, this would be the time to hop on this uh, wagon. The training also involves a flight with Nancy in a light plane. Marcel will even have to fly it. A lot of people are afraid of flying, especially of uh, traveling via space. And uh, the only solution is to have the controls yourself. I've never been on such a small plane and basically I'm quite excited about it because it's also the first time that I will be actually in the cockpit and actually be on the controls. On a parabolic flight, he can practice dealing with weightlessness. Not everyone can handle the steep climbs and sudden drops. We'd better turn the camera off here. Marcel is to embark on his first space flight with five other passengers and two pilots in the United States. The passengers sit in a space plane that is carried up to an altitude of 16 kilometers and released. It flies above the atmosphere on its own power. For six minutes, the travelers experience weightlessness and enjoy an unforgettable view of Earth. In just under four hours, it's all over. This flight has no economy class. The company's owner, British billionaire Richard Branson, is charging the equivalent of just under 160,000 euros a seat. Marcel has made just a small down payment, but he says he'll be able to come up with the rest soon. I think uh, that it does get more democratic. And besides, I also think that in the future, this will uh, really also become something which will become even more cheap. There have been proposals to launch the space vehicles from Europe. The municipality of Lelystad in the Netherlands says it's willing to transform its little airport into a spaceport. It might even do wonders for the local economy. But not everyone wants a spaceport right next to the village pub. I think it's ridiculous. It's terrible that people would pay $200,000 for a few minutes in space just for the fun of it. Besides, it's bad for the environment. There are better things to do right here on Earth. The flights would make an age-old dream a reality. Space tourism is only just getting off the ground, but the sky's the limit.